Hello, it's me, Barnes, or that guy again. Um, yeah, this 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 was not on the list of games that I, I wanted to play the other day, but I really enjoyed it. And for me, it was it was pretty much game of last year. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick, yeah, ten minutes maybe. Uh, I'm currently just on lunch from you know real work. Yay. Um. Maybe just do one run through, you know, my, my my old cheaty save there. Put the god mode on after dying about 75 times. Um, yeah, not very long. I played it in January, so I, I think I, I sort of remember what to do. Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Far better, um, you know, storytelling introduction than most games. I think uh, only beaten by Borderlands and Marcus's. Uh, so you want to hear? I, I can't do accents, but yeah. Um, I seem to remember this game is basically just a lot of uh, smashing the left mouse button and space at the same time to, to avoid being brutally murdered by everything. Everything in this game wants you to die. Especially these giant things. Ah, uh, that's it. Well, I'm already dead. Game over. It's good, uh, good talking to you. I always like my roguelikes. Um, Dead Cells. Dead Cells was a, a big game for me when it first came out. So when I stumbled across this on Steam, um, I think it was a couple of weeks before it was due for release, I was like, it's really amazing. I've got to get it. And so I did. And yeah, I spent 100 hours in it the first couple of weeks. Dying, dying more and more death. And then just when I thought I'd achieved the end, I died. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. The artwork in this is fantastic. Like, it's really visually well designed. Um... Yeah, att attack. Or we always, you know, I always find that brute force is the way forward. Um, especially when it comes to these little bricks. I always forget how difficult the game can be when you first start out, though. I've had my hair cut and finally don't look like a homeless person anymore, which is nice. Um, managed to shift most of that cold, which is good as well. God, I'm just, just a changed person, really. Just finished watching the boys do a, uh, a Fortnite stream last night. Um, it was good fun. I think Fortnite is probably going to be a, a game that we'll spend a bit more time on. Over the next seventy-five years, because you know that that game's going to be around forever. Um, yeah, any any dudes that have skulls on, uh, they have a shield that you've got to knock down first with an attack. Right. I always get a bit too much into concentrating when I play this. Very much a, a Dark Souls s game that. You do one thing wrong and that's it. You are effed in the A. But yeah, I think it's it, it's Hades is one of those games where it's great if you just you just got half an hour to kill and you want to have a you know an attempt at getting for a few levels. Um, it's it's really good fun. The storyline's great. I mean it. You know, it's funny, it's, it's one of those games where it's designed to kill you, so, you know, deaths progress the story. Um, 
And I, I just think that that's such a great mechanic. You tend to find a lot of games that that have that sort of mechanic. There's, you know, you, you'll say, for example, you die four or five times in quick succession. I don't really make progress with the game. Um, they tend to get a bit stuck in, in the sort of storytelling aspect of it. And there's, there's nothing really new that you ever come across. I think... Um, Children of Mora is one of those games. I think it's free on the Game Pass. I played that for a little bit, and it was great. But you got to a point where the game was too difficult, so you were consistently dying. But there was nothing new to progress the story. So it's just rinse. You know, play, die, repeat. Play, die, repeat. No storylines, no elements. And I think even even like the flavor text, the conversations with the deities in this are just. It, it just makes the game feel more fleshed out and less like a chore um and i think that's one of the one of the things that that really does work to its advantage in this oh mini boss i fucking hate these guys they just throw grenades at you and yeah the grenades are so annoying It is just the, the best way to describe the, this game for me is just clusterfuck. That is, that is literally all it is. It's, if you don't die, just consider yourself lucky that you've you know you've completed a level because more often than not, you'll either die to something that is just unexpected or you don't see it coming, or you will just end up dying to something really stupid like you'll walk over a trap. And it'll take like ninety percent of your health off, and then you know a, an enemy will appear and arrow you out of nowhere. Um, right, calculated risk. No, you tend to find that the duo abilities that you get. So in the game, you know, whenever you collect one of these, um, you get a boon. Most levels, there's a, there's a boon of some form, and for for certain gods, certain gods' powers work together. So in this one, for example, you know. It's, it's a dual power, so it's a duo between uh, Dionysus, butchered the name, and Athena. Um, so they work together, but very much like, you know, you have your basic, your rares, your epic powers. Um, yeah, and various different bits and pieces do various different things. So this one, this is Nectar of the Gods. So whenever you pick up a Nectar of the Gods, you get an, a permanent boost for this run of 25% extra health. Um, so I'd say that's probably a, a solid choice considering this is, you know, it's the first run in the game before you unlock any of the weapons, any of the extra stuff. Um, you, you're never meant to, you know, achieve success in this one. I think the first time I did it, I made it to the boss. Um on the first run and then the boss absolutely annihilated me because I had no idea what I was doing I had no idea of any of the boons or how they properly work um, yeah I just insta death pretty much and the boss is really smug about it as well which it really irritates me right, I'm not got enough money I can't really do very much It's just even like this, just little little bits of lore in the game. Um, well, good to see you, Charon, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the... This is my favourite character in the game. Doesn't say anything. You know, it's how I like my people. Silent and grunty. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those games, unlike Rust. Or, you know, those complex games where you can just literally just sit back and just mind-numbingly just twat things with a sword for hours up and end um yeah it, what it reminds me of it reminds me of, uh, of risk of rain a bit like you know apart from obviously dead cells is a your typical side scroller roguelike game um but i get i get more of a, a i'm gonna die here aren't i no, don't die. 
Um, yeah, I get more of a Risk of Rain type feeling from it. Um, again, you know, with Risk of Rains with guns rather than swords. Um, I'm a big fan of Risk of Rain as well. Many of games that I like. That's pretty good. And there's very different playthroughs, you know, uh, I say playthroughs, sorry, various different styles per playthrough. Um, I think that's probably one of the things that does keep it so unique as well as, as the dialogue. The the amount of stuff that you can unlock. I think there's, there's about 10 gods in total. There's a few extra ones that you can get um by you know various different means some one of them you have to sacrifice your health for example to open a portal into into the underworld um say the underworld the under underworld which you you saw you'll get that through like second or third playthrough um so yeah you you'd sacrifice your health to gain access to that level and then you'd get a quite a powerful boon for it, but it, it's always like a risk versus reward. So if you're into that sort of playthrough where you consistently don't mind living on the edge, um, there's a there's a great set of gods there for you. But I think in, it, usually you find that you get three three or four god powers from different gods per run through, and there's the various different levels of the of the game. Um, you start off on this this underworldy level which is your father's domain um and you're obviously trying to run away from your father to try and find out what you know what happened to your mother i won't say too much about the story because obviously if you if you want to play it go and play it it's a, it's a fantastic story to to sit through and, and and watch um i've not even to be fair i've not completed it i know what happened but i i've not completed it myself i accidentally wanted to have a look at something law related and then i ended up uh, spoiling the rest of the game for myself which is always fantastic um so yes yeah, so there's various different bits these symbols mean that there's a shop this will boost one of your original boons so if i if i go into here now and i i survive as long as i don't die or even better um if you ever come into a zone like this where there's nothing else no enemies it's either there's usually a mini boss through this or the boss boss of the of the level um now at the moment i think i am about to face the boss so if i take that so yeah so it'll, it'll power up the palmer power powers up one of the the bones that we've already got um i might as well take that again more attack yeah so this is this is the pre-boss room um the the symbol here is it's, it's like a special item you get when you kill her um spoilers it's a her you're about to find out um maybe don't want to don't want to be accused of assuming the gender um and you'll use this to eventually power up the weapons there's a huge selection of the weapons that do, that do unlock um and they've got various different aspects of it so you can get like one sword that will specialize in in one two or three oh, things not one step further. Come on, Major. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? She's really aggressive. Besides, don't you have someplace else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. The painful way. The painful way. Yeah. A man after my own. Mainly because I've only got twenty uh, fourteen health now. Wow. See, look at that. One shot. There is no escape. The the game sets that out pretty early for you. Um, and then, yeah, so you die. You then, you know, you go back to the the blood river. Um, this is your father's castle. And then there's various different bits and pieces that you, you can do here. Welcome to the house of Hades, where... Wait, I know you. I guess that means you can hide out there, huh? Oh, don't be sad, though. Pretty much... Some of us more than others. Back already. You've returned. Good Various different well. characters. The you know, Achilles sense. gives you some wise words of advice. Um, Fear is for the weak. Take care. 
the nectar that I picked up earlier, this thing in the bottom right corner, you can gift it to certain people. When you gift it to certain people for the first time, it gives you like a, an unlock, which you then equip to your character that can do certain things. So if I give it to Achilles, Achilles to start with. Much, but here. This really is for me. You beat me to it then, as I had meant to give you this one next to his folk. So he's giving me some braces, so now I can equip those before the next run. It's one piece of armor at a time, um, which just give you benefits. Cerberus is probably one of the best early on to, to give him to. I'm going to skip through all the all the conversations here because you know otherwise you'd be here forever. But Cerberus will give you an extra opportunity once you die to you know survive, come back to life, shall we call it. This is your bedroom. Um, you can eventually upgrade various different bits and pieces of that and unlock using the keys that you get through the runs. Um, these all give you different powers, and at the end, there's like a there's one that will flip the powers around. So there's there's two variations of the powers that do very sort of similar things. Um, Death defiance is pretty good. It's always it's always well worth having, you know, for for thirty gems as soon as you start the run, because that will give you one opportunity to defy death. Um, if you combine that with the braces that you get from Cerberus, then you got two opportunities if you die. So they tend to be the two that I I go with straight away. Um, okay. And then your you have three weapons to start with. You get your sword automatically. Uh, you get a bow. Bow's pretty good. Um, it's quite slow but quite powerful. For three keys, you unlock the the shield um, with a spinny blade on it. It's it's good. It has a, a long range secondary, which you can you sort of throw the shield out a bit like Captain America would. Um, the spear is my favourite. It's it's powerful and combined with the long range reach. And when you do the special, which is Q, which I, did, I actually forgot existed. For a while um it'll throw the spear and then it'll return back to you so it's good again it's a further long range so i would say the spear tends to be my favorite weapon and then over here you've got That's the keepsakes so which are the things that you get for giving the nectars to people um and there's some special ones down here so yeah the braces it gives me 20 percent damage from the front but less from the back which is always worthwhile um, and they they level up based around you know how many encounters you complete with them. So there's there's so much to be doing in this like early stages of the game. They can be a little overwhelming. Um, but yeah, I'll take the bow. So you can charge it, um, or you can just you know the the more you charge it, the more damage it does. This guy's your little punch bag. So yeah, so look, 30 damage for a short charge, and then 60 for a long one, and your special is a volley of arrows in a in 90 degree arc. Um, so yeah, it's good fun. Uh, I'm not going to talk to him because I know what he does. So we'll try and do one more one more run quickly. Um, the video's already 20 minutes long <laughs> after the Rust video, where I was mocking. Uh, everyone's internet it took me about 12 hours to upload this video because it was 19 gigs so I'm going to try and keep them a little shorter until I can sort something else out um, there are you know there's a couple of other things that I, I won't mention but I think one of the things that I like about the game as well is that they're, all the gods are vying for your I say affection probably in the loosest word um and you come to certain boss rooms where you have to pick one or the other. So, you, like, for example, Zeus and Athena, you'd get the choice of one or the other. And whichever one you pick, the other one will get pissed off at you and it will send, like, armies your way or something like that. So it's uh, it's, it's good fun. Um, right, your attack emits lightning. I mean, yeah, it, you know, it's always, always attack. And now that we've done the first level, 
or the first run through, sorry, there are certain things that unlock that change you uh, like as a character and your weapon. So one of the one of the unlocks for the bow um, is that you never have to charge it. And it, it's just a rapid fire bow, which is, is really good and really powerful if you can if you can find it. But again, there's there's various different options and because of that you're not always guaranteed to find it during the run. Um If you've never played it, I'd, I'd play it. it. It's good fun. Um, I know I keep saying that. It sounds like a bloody broken record, but, you know, when it wins as many awards as this one, I'm sure this won quite a few last year, um, for, for an indie game especially, it's certainly got to be something on, on people's playlists. Obviously, if you don't like this sort of, you know, um, game with the Dark Souls esque. Uh, rinse and repeat type style then that's fair enough not for everybody um, this bow is so bad when you're just starting out like it's really powerful when you've, you've unlocked a, a couple of abilities for it or some of the permanent upgrades that you get later on in the game, but to start with, because to get the most out of it, you've got to stand still and charge. More often than not, you end up getting caught short by an attack. Yes, let's see here. Hi there. In the name of Hades, Olympus. Why, hello, hello there, little god thing. I have to say, you. See why not? And unfortunately, you can't just you can't just press the mouse button to fire it. You've got to at least hold it down, and I think that's that's where the downfall tends to be on this. And it's probably the only game that I know that will provide auto aim away from the target at times. Never quite understand that. Money, money, money. Oh, I'll watch out for that. Don't want to get copyrighted. See? Like that. It just it just moved it away from oh for God's sake. So the traps and stuff as well as hurting you will also hurt the, the enemies if you can lure them into it or if you can blow these things up in front of them. It's like these pillars as well, you can knock them down and cause damage to them. That was a stupid uh, thing. Oh, you also have a, a weird little spike that you throw and stab into enemies. Um, it does a little bit more damage than, Excellent. you know, just extra DPS, really. These are like mini purchase points, so you can, you can purchase like in in battle type items. So you can't purchase what you'd be able to purchase from um, Karen, Carrion, whatever his, his bloody name is. Um, I couldn't have had easier names, could they? Like Dave or John or, you know, Michael. No. I probably should have checked what was there, to be fair, but I didn't. It's gonna get, it's gonna get killed by these two now. The problem with these is that you using the bow you've got to sort of charge it up get it on target and by that point the front of friggin bomb at you 
And unfortunately, the bombs don't hurt the enemies. I'd like to at least try and make it through to Meg again. There's one down. I always find it's, it's way simpler when you've only got one of these guys to contend with. So you don't walk into a rogue bomb. You can just wait till it fires and then just dash out of the way. This is always pretty good after party. If your health's low after the encounter, is always restored to forty percent. Um, I mean, at the moment, you know, only having fifty, that's like what twelve point five. So it's not great. But as you progress further, and you can upgrade it so that it's like fifty percent or sixty percent, eventually, um, it's, a, it's a really good one to get out the doors early because you always find that. Like they tend to the boons that you get get worse by as the game progresses or become less useful I guess I, I'm assuming mainly that's down to the fact that you, you sort of you find one that's really good and then you stick to a path and there are certain things that, that tend to complement um, each other, you know, powers across the board that don't necessarily duo, but you, you know, you get one, for example, that restores some health every time you use your special, and then you get a, an area of effect special that is is stronger and deals a bigger, you know, bigger area of effect. Do not presume that you escape my notice. And then at times, your dad, who's a massive dick, Thank makes you, you survive. Just, just to vary things up, like that, you know, your dad is Satan and he is just, uh, he really doesn't want you, no, he really doesn't want you to escape. Um, oh yeah, he said 40% in it, that is not 12.5, that is terrible mass for me. I'm like, why have I got 15 health, I should have died. Yeah, so it's, it's, you know, all about fighting the, uh, the your father. Um, Enough. Well, that's better. Uh, we'll do the lightning one again. I was hoping that they would have the hammer. The hammer's the thing that upgrades your weapons. And, and your abilities that you, you know, you start with, so like your dash, for example. Um, but it would appear that this is the final boss. Okay, maybe not. Interesting. Um, so, yeah, the shop here, you can buy extra boons uh, and extra health, max health, which I'm definitely doing. Some food to heal up, so it's good. It's a, it's a nice little respite from the, the dangers of what's going on in the world. And there you, you get to meet, you know, mythological figures as well at times. The guy who was always um, destined to push a boulder up a hill for eternity. And they'll give you bits, you know, so you can get free healing off them if you wanted. Or darkness or some, some money. Uh, I'm going to take the darkness because it is persistent. And because you obviously need it for the mirrors, um, it, it's well worth taking. Witches. So 
only meant to be a quick video. I just realized we're on half an hour. But yeah, ultimately I want to get the spear. The spear's great fun. And like some of the some of the extra things that you can get with the spear. So you can get um, an ability where it will just triple attack. So for every stab that you do with us with it, it'll attack three times. Uh, it's just incredibly powerful later on in the in the game, considering the reach of it is, you know, by far one of the better reaching weapons. Um, even though you know, obviously, your ranged weapons are the best for reaching. You you do suffer with the having to charge up. Um, one at one of the the late game weapons you get is a gun. Not quite sure where that comes from in in, in the mythology, um, but it has like five bullets in its clip, and it's it's just it's just a waste of time. You fire it and then you reload in again. Well, we're back to Charon or Carrion or whatever the hell his name is. Charon. Might as well heal up. Let's fight Meg again. Let's die again. Rinse and repeat. Hello, Meg. Ever stubborn, aren't you? Your whip's not. Maybe persistent. Stop floating with him. Like many other good uh, boss fights, you know, they have various different phases when you lower their health, um, and, and she'll just summon extra dudes, and they just really get in the way. Oh, lucky there. I think even if you're in the circle, as long as you dash at the last second, you can avoid the attack. I think there's a period of like invulnerability when you do dash. But obviously not then. Fuck that one up, didn't I? Yeah, I actually forgot I have got my second chance, haven't I? I might be able to actually take her out. Unfortunately, when you do use your second chance, you don't restore full health. You might do actually. I don't know. It's been so long, I'm not actually sure. We'll find out in a second. Run away! Yeah, so you don't restore up full health. I think it's half. I think there are, again, a, like amendments to that that you can unlock. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Yes, we did it. Second time. That was like 15 times yes. when I first played through that. Um, but yeah, so now you get Ancient Blood and you you know you unlock three or four of those. And um, every level that you do, I'll show you in a second, um, gives you an Ancient Blood to start with. And then, you know, obviously, because it's one of these games where you'll inevitably die when you then refight the boss, it'll unlock something different for you. But you tend to get a little bit of health at the beginning, uh, a mid-tier shop. So this is what I meant when I said it's not like the proper shop. You can't buy boons and stuff, but you can buy, like, you know, get a little bit of money. Um, the money you use to improve the house that you're trying to escape from. Not sure why, but, you know, you're clearly not a bit of a, that much of a dick if you you want to run away. But, you know, you give your dad a new bed while you're at it. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, and then other things are like you know buffs but that, that last for a specific amount of encounters so that one for example 50 percent more damage for six encounters um i'll take that because i'm actually probably gonna just commit suicide in a second um to take myself back to the beginning so that's the first level and then there's you know a couple more i think it's four or five in total um, including the final boss, but like the, just the visuals as you go through it, it's incredible. Like I think it was only a small design team, or potentially even one guy, that's done all this. But it's it's very very well done. Wasn't this whole expanse once lush and green? And yeah, like each level has varying different um, enemy types. So th this one always tends to be probably my least favourite because there are some guys here that will just really ruin your day. As Lee would like to say, it, it gets a bit spicy. I just don't think the bow is suited for this, this level. I I'm nearly dead anyway. I mean, the good thing is, if they jump in lava, they take damage, so... now that's good yeah so max health or another boon um it doesn't really matter i guess i'll, t I'll take the boon Let's get out of might help me survive a little bit longer who knows but yeah this was this is basically just a, a quick run through of of hades for a couple of levels just in case you're, you're interested in buying it um I definitely recommend it. I'm not sure how much it is on Steam, but I think however much it is at the moment, it, it's well worth the price. Um, uh, yeah, just good fun overall. I've said that about 65 times now. Um, could turn this into a drink again with him like that. Every time he says it's good fun, take a shot. Um, I might do a bit more. It depends. Get, get some feedback. Um, a little different to, to a rush stream where things are consistently going on especially when it comes to like raided bases a lot of periods of this where you just sort of concentrated and it doesn't make for great gameplay i think at, at times but we shall see cool right well thanks for watching if anybody does um and i will yeah i'm sure i'll be back at some point and uh we go from there perfect bye